Welcome back to another edition of Viper Bites, and we continue with our off-season series here, breaking down all the trades and all the signings taking place early here in the 2022 NFL calendar year. And now we're going to talk a little bit of fantasy football IDP. We're going to turn our attention to the defensive side of the ball, starting with Bobby Wagner. Now, the former Seahawk, Bobby Wagner, he signed a five-year, $50 million deal that can be worth up to $65 million with division rival, the Los Angeles Rams. Now, he did flirt a little bit with the Baltimore Ravens, but when it came down to it, the all-pro linebacker, he decided, hey, I want to go back home and I want to stick it to the Seattle Seahawks. Now, I, for one, I love pettiness you know i'm all about the pettiness here we know if anytime a division rival is going to cut you i'm going to sign with someone where i'm going to play that team twice a year so kudos to bobby wagner for doing exactly what i would want to do if i you know was any good at football now wagner he got paid 10 million per season it's a little rich for my blood especially at the linebacker position but hey look at his work that he's put in he definitely deserves that big payday and the rams they don't care about no stinking cap they ain't worried about no stinking draft pick. This is the Los Angeles Rams. This is Les Snead. None of that matters. All they care about is winning championships. Now, I mentioned the appeal of coming back to Los Angeles. Wagner was born in L.A. He started in Colonel County High School there in Ontario, California. Now he makes a full circle, and he returns back home to face the Seahawks twice per season there, that division rival. So you know he's all about that life. Now, Apparently, if you want to look into this a little bit deeper, now maybe a 30 on 30 for Bobby Wagner. The Los Angeles Rams, back way back when Wagner was coming out of the draft, this was a team that the player that the Rams were definitely keen on even way back when. However, they made a huge mistake. They traded down in the draft, and Seattle, they went out there and they got themselves Wagner. So the Rams missed out way back when. Now, for the Rams, they have been busy this offseason extending Matthew Stafford signing Allen Robinson trading Robert Woods and now adding Bobby Wagner to a linebacking core that already had Ernest Jones and Leonard Floyd in it not to mention all pros Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey already on that defensive front this Rams defense is as good as any and more on that here in a little bit later but look bottom line the rich get richer the Rams they find a way it's not often you're able to go out there and you let a Hall of Fame player like Vaughn Miller go, and then you replace him with a Hall of Famer like Bobby Wagner. But hey, that's what the Rams did. That's what the Rams are been able to do all offseason. Robert Woods gone, Allen Robinson in. Not bad. They've been working some things out there. Now, for the Rams, Jalen Ramsey, Aaron Donald, Bobby Wagner, how good is this trinity of defensive players? 21 Pro Bowls, 16 All Pros, three Super Bowls. That's not too terrible. Now, defensive first team all pro selection since 2016, Aaron Donald. His six is the most in the NFL. He's got seven total. Bobby Wagner, his five, that's the second most in the NFL. He's got six in his career. And Jalen Ramsey, he's tied for third most in the National Football League since 2016. Wagner alone, eight time Pro Bowler, six time first team all pro, NFL 2010s all decade team. 1,383 tackles total. He is the active leader in the clubhouse among all linebackers in the National Football League. What are the Rams getting outside? You know, an all-pro linebacker. Since 2017, 92.9 is his PFF run defense grade. That is first among all linebackers. His 91.2 pass rush grade, that is also first amongst all linebackers. And if that's not enough, if that's not enough, 91.1 coverage grade. That ranks fifth amongst all linebackers since 2017. Bobby Wagner, let's look at his stats in 2021. 170 total tackles, one interception, one sack, five passes defended. The Rams, as a defense, have given up the second fewest passing touchdowns last season and managed to give up just the sixth fewest rushing yards in 2021. Furthermore, the Rams, they also rank ninth in points per game allowed last season these are all <laughs> if you can believe it these are all categories with the addition of Bobby Wagner that this team can improve upon yes Vaughn Miller's gone but you still got Leonard Floyd and Aaron Donald setting that edge setting up that pass rush however you want to look at it but now you've got the biggest glaring need in Los Angeles that is taking care of that middle it is now no longer Troy readers to Rome 
Last year, Troy Reader, 91 tackles. We know the Rams wanted to upgrade there, and they did so with this addition of Bobby Wagner. Very clearly. Hmm. Troy Reader, you know what? Much respect to you. You ain't no Bobby Wagner. It's just, that's just the way it is. There's a reason why the Rams didn't go out there and re-sign Reader here in this offseason. They aim to improve that middle linebacker spot, and it's safe to say that's how you do it. Signing in a Hall of Famer, all-pro type guy there to get the job done. And we know Bobby Wagner, he's still got a little bit left in him. Now, on paper, yes, this Rams defense, it should be top three when it comes to run defenses in the National Football League, while also remaining in the top five scoring defense in points per game allowed. This offense, they can score as well as anybody. So you get one of the top defenses in the National Football League, married to and coupled to one of the best offenses. Hey, it's not hard to believe that there's a very strong possibility that the Rams could run it back to back here when it comes to the Super Bowl, at least make a very strong push in that NFC. We watch teams kind of lose a little bit here. The Packers, they lost Devontae Adams. The Bucks, they lost their head coach, Bruce Arians. The 49ers, they are having quarterback problems there. Is it going to be Jimmy Garoppolo? Is it going to be uh, Trey Lance? Everyone wants it to be Trey Lance. I don't think Trey Lance is that dude in 2022. Hey, it's not even that look in the division. Seattle. If anything, the Rams probably take a great bit of pride in making Seattle worse by bringing Bobby Wagner in here. Seattle, they let Russell Wilson go. Seattle, they let Bobby Wagner go. This is not a team in Seattle that you're really worried about. Dallas, their vote is dysfunctional here last season down the stretch. They've let guys go. Amari Cooper uh, was a guy who has moved on from the Dallas Cowboys. So everyone around that NFC outside of the Los Angeles Rams, they seem to be losing pieces all over the place. So the Rams, they are primed to make another strong push in the NFC and represent the NFC in that Super Bowl. Now, how, how's it going to pertain after that? That AFC, they're going to be strong. But hey, the war of attrition there, the AFC, they can beat themselves up before they meet the Rams in the Super Bowl. That is saying if the Rams can get there. We don't know that for a fact. But what we do know for a fact, there is going to be plenty more off-season moves coming your way. And make sure to tune in, hit that like, hit that subscribe to the Vipers Network. Turn up those notifications because anytime there's a trade that goes down or a big signing, we are going to bring it to you and break it down. Also, check us out on Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, whatever the podcasting platform that you're listening to right now. Hit that up, rate and review. And of course, head to fantasypoints.com, enter promo code VIPERS22 and get 10% off that subscription today. We will see you next time. When news breaks, we will be all over it.